Hmm, I wonder what time it is. Perhaps it's time for some homework advice. Okay, let's take a look at doing the homework assignment this week. It's again back with House Depot doing the paint estimator, but we're going to kind of kick it up another level by adding in a couple of other wrinkles. One of them is we're going to use IPython Interact to build a better UI, and then two is we're going to write our own functions uh, to do this. So uh, there's a lot to chew on here. The problem itself is probably pretty easy, but you're going to have to spend a little bit of time sort of thinking through how to complete the problem according to the requirements that are expected of you uh, that, that force you to use certain things. Of the four requirements, one of them is that you should use IPython widgets. Another one is that you need to write functions. Those are going to be a little bit of, of a challenge um, as opposed to just attacking the problem and doing it any way you want, which actually ends up being a pretty simple program. But again, we want you to sort of embrace what you learned this week and practice it. And that's what the homework is about. So here's a couple of key hints that I can give you on this particular assignment. First of all, I'm just going to drop um, a code cell right here. First of all, let's look at requirement number one. And that is the one where we set up uh, IPy widgets. So when you set up IPy widgets, you need to import the IPy widgets functions. You're always going to need to bring in the display widget and the, um, the interact manual. So it looks like this. This is boilerplate code you're probably going to need at the top of every single um, program that you write that uses IPy widgets. So you're going to say from uh, IPython display import display and the HTML functions and then from IPy widgets import interact manual and then the setup for interact is always interact manual and then the things you want to interact like what do we got here? I'm just going to do uh, length and you put in a value like one and then width. I'm just going to do a couple for now, two. And then down here, you define a function that uses the interact. And at any time something changes in the interact, the function runs. So let's call this def main length width. These values have to match these values up here. These variables have to match each other, I should say. And then down here, I'm just going to print, you know, length width for now. All right. And you'll see that you get your interactions here that you can use to put your inputs in there. So like, there's my input. All right. Now, if you remember back to the original um, House Depot paint estimator, we had a room that you paint, and a room's a rectangle, and there's the width of the room, and then the length of the room, and then you also have another dimension here, which is the height of the walls, right? The height of the walls. That's a horrible drawing. And the height is the same. But there's two widths. There's a width here and a width here. And then there's two lengths. There's one there and there's one there. All right. So you've already calculated the paint area. You've already done that. Whoops. You've already done the calculate the paint area. Well, I did it again. Okay. Enough of that. So it's just a matter of writing this calculate paint area as a function. And remember what we did in the lab. Write, refactor, test, rewrite. Something like this. Let me add another cell. So I, I write it, and you had it from before, right? You got length is 10, width is, I don't know, 20. Wall height is going to be 8. And you had from the other assignment a working formula here you know area is going to be two times the length 
plus 2 times the height. And all of that, you know, times, I'm sorry, length and width. And all of that times the wall height. And that determines the paintable area. And let's print area. Right, so 480. So now in write, refactor, rewrite, I write it. Now we refactor it into a function. So when you think about this as a function, what would it look like? It might look like this. You might say def calc paint area. And then what are the inputs into the function? What has to go into the function to calculate the paint area? Well, you need the length, the width, and the height. And then, you know, it follows that you calculate this area. I know I shouldn't copy code. And then you're going to return that back. Okay, so, you know, this is step one. Whoops, oh boy. This is step one, which is write, write. Then we refactor. Then we test. Okay, so let's think about this. I wrote this function, now I want to invoke it and make sure it works. What better way to test it than to use these values up here, right? So I'm going to write, I'm going to write a test, and my test might be something along, along, the line, along the lines of print when length is 10, width is 20, and height is 8. We expect 48, 480, right? That's what I got right there, 480. Actual. Let's do it like that. And then we expect 480. Actual is going to be calc paint area. Length, width, height. And I goofed something up, as I always do. Oh, I didn't put a colon at the end of this. Like that. So there we go. Write, refactor, test. Now, in the rewrite, which is the fourth step in the process, you'll use it down in your main program. So somewhere down in your main program logic, you will calculate the area um, that needs to be painted. All right, so that's one function. The other function is called getPaintInfo, and this function is going to be very similar to what you did in Professor X's example. You're going to have a bunch of ifs. You're going to say, if you chose every day, then... Then the paint costs $19.95, and the paint covers 320 square feet. Else, if you choose premium, oh boy, i got to stop doing that. You choose premium, then the paint costs $29.95, and it covers 400 square feet. Else, if, or else, you choose professional, etc. Okay? So, the challenge is, how do you return two things from a function? So this is the next hint for you. As you're, so this, this hint goes along with writing get paint info. So this hint goes along with get paint info. So another thing is you should all you should also take the approach of get paint info with the write rewrite test. Um, I'm sorry, the write, refactor, test, rewrite approach. Take that approach again, right? Write it working first with a bunch of ifs. Then when you know it works, rewrite it as a function. Don't start by writing it as a function because you don't want to write a lot of bad code in here in Python. It makes it very difficult to debug. So write, refactor, test, rewrite. Do that. You'll save yourself time. You're going to do more coding, but in the long run, you'll save yourself some time. 
So now going back to how do you make a function that returns two values, let me just demonstrate. So I'm just going to put a code in here. It says demo of a function that returns two values. And I'm just going to call this def. What is the name of this function? Calc get paint info. Okay, let's say def get paint info. And then you, you pass in as input paint, whether it's, you know, everyday premium or professional, everyday premium or professional. So you're going to pass in the paint, paint. Then you're going to do some work and then you're going to return the cost and the coverage, right? So I can maybe say like, you know, cost, just for example, cost is $19.99. And then the coverage is going to be uh, 400 square feet. And so I can return cost coverage like that. You return them both. And then when you call the function, it looks like this, you know, like my cost, my coverage, doesn't matter what the variables are is get paint info and then i'm just going to put a paint in here it doesn't matter because the function doesn't work right i'm just showing you how to return two values and then i'm going to print my cost my coverage let me call these like val1 val2 coverage equals 400. So when it prints out the two values, the first value is 1999, which when I call this function, that's cost. And the second value is 400. When I call this function, that is coverage. So now hopefully you can figure out how to write this in a series of ifs, right? You're going to say, you know, if it's everyday paint, then the cost is this and the coverage is that. Else, if it's Premium paint, the cost is this, is the coverage is that. And the very last line is going to say return cost comma coverage. Okay, that's the, the plan that you're going to try to follow here. So that sort of helps you with the functions. Let's just do the one last bit with um, IPython Interact again. That is, how do you specify values that go in a range, right? I, I can put one and two in here, but I'm better served by putting in number ranges like this. Zero to, I don't know, length might be 100. And then for width, I can say zero to 100. And then for the height, maybe I want to say, you know, no wall is going to be shorter than six feet and no wall is going to be bigger than 20 feet. And then for the paint, I want to make them pick from a list that says everyday Every day, comma, I, don't, I forgot what they are already. Sucks getting old. Premium and professional. Premium and professional. And then down here, the main function has to match that. So length, width, height, paint. And now you'll get this, right? Which lets you pick and choose. Uh, the, the wall is 20 is 33 and the width is 20 and the height of the wall is 10. And I want to use, I want to paint it with professional paint. Tell me how much it's going to cost me. Okay. Don't forget about what the output should be, right? The output should show you the same outputs that we had before, right? So I know it's not explicitly said here, but you should tell me the same things you told me before. So I need to know the square footage of the room. Right? I also need to know... Let me change this to markdown. I need to know the square footage of the room. I need to be able to determine the number of gallons of paint and I need to know the total cost. So these are things that you were able to do before 
The only difference is the cost is going to change based on the paint you pick. And the number of gallons required is also going to change based on the paint you pick because each gallon of paint has a different coverage depending on what, what quality paint it is. So that's something that factors in to the pricing. Okay, so that's a big lab hint. Hopefully you can figure out how to put it all together into a working program. I think, I hope you find that this is a fun um, homework assignment. Uh, you know, I've kind of given you most of what you need to do for this one. This is not really that hard to figure out. I discussed that. This is mostly what you need down here. So it really just becomes a function of, of sort of putting it all together and making it work. And it's really fun to make um, Python programs that use IPython Interact like this. This is what makes a notebook environment so neat is that you can build in these UI elements really quickly to do your inputs rather than having to just type thing in a box. So we will use this affordance quite a bit in the future. Okay, that's it for this week's homework advice on functions. Thanks and have a nice day. Bye now.